So on the latest data, renters have just copped the biggest rent increases in a quarter, three months, in 17 years. House rents have gone up by over 5%. At the same time, the latest wages data, wages have only gone up 0.9%. That means if you're a renter, on average, your rent has gone up more than five times your wages. Uh, the average median rent now across the country, $630. That means even if you're earning $105,000 a year, on average, in an average rental, you're gonna be in rental stress. Now, what does this practically mean? Single mums choosing between feeding their kids and paying the rent. Young couples being evicted, uh, sometimes into their, onto the street or back to their parents' place, giving up on ever being able to afford to buy a home, let alone cover the massive rent increases. We know how to stop this. In very practical terms, what the government can do is freeze and cap rent increases. In fact, if the government and Labor had listened to us last year and introduced a two-year freeze on rent increases and cap rents after that, then how many, how many people could we have stopped being evicted onto the streets? How many rent increases could we have stopped? How many thousands of dollars a year in rent could we have saved for millions of renters across the country? The bottom line is we have a housing system stacked in favour of property investors, property developers and the banks. And today's data shows the human consequences of that because behind every single rent increase is a story from a renter of doing it tough, making sacrifices, being evicted onto the street, sometimes onto home into homelessness. Uh, if you're losing a bit of hope though at the moment, the bottom line is this, one third of the country rents. We have an enormously powerful political voice and increasingly it is going to be on us collectively demanding of the government real action that is going to win a freeze and cap on rent increases. Authorised by Jay McCall, Australian Greens, Canberra.